Because what makes people happy? Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> so. That is the worst tasting thing I've ever had in my life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's covered in salt. Yeah. You knew that? Uh, yeah. That was the meanest thing you've ever done to me. Struggle of living in Sweden. It is actually 10.54 in the morning. We finally have daylight for the first time in five days. It's literally been dark all day, every day. We haven't even bothered turning the camera on because it's just been dark and gray and cloudy. How are people happy in this country? You're asking me, you're the Swedish I, person here. I don't think I realized how dark it actually is. Last year during winter, we were in Denver and it was sunny and blue skies every day. And every single day. I mean, they talk about seasonal depression. It's a real thing. Either way, today hasn't really started on a good note in the household. Nothing's on our side today! And we started filming another video, didn't really feel the vibe. So what are we gonna go and do? We're gonna do a Swedish taste test of candy. Because what makes people happy? Sugar! Sugar! So, <laughs> Swedish candy. I've done a video where I tried American candy. There are a lot of funky tastes and flavors and textures. American snacks, not just candy. No. I think there's one candy in there. There was a lot of funky things either way. Let's go and do Swedish snacks and candy. Bye. Can I come to the store too? No, she can't because we go to the grocery store. You're gonna leave me here to be all alone? They sell chocolate balls in a package? This is a classic, so you gotta try it. Yeah. <laughs> Not the licorice. We're back. Hi, princess. I missed you. It is 11.45, almost an hour later. There's still sunlight, but it's slowly going. It's slowly going. So. <laughs> Guys, this is about to be a lot of sugar before lunchtime. Today, Morgan is being a bit lenient on the gluten because we're not eating full things. But a lot of this is gluten-free. Yes. But we're going to start with something that's not gluten-free. This is a famous cookie and cracker company or manufacturer yeah, here. I love these. Yeah? Let's see what you think about our Swedish version. Small ones. You want to be in the video? Here you go. Mm. These are vegan? Yes, they are. Mm. I just had three. These are really good. Mm -hmm. So what would you rate this out of five? Like a 3.8. 3.8, pretty high for a starter. Marabou is a classic Swedish chocolate brand that's been around forever. I was like, that's so nice of you. You brought me so many treats. Look at all these treats. Yeah, XL cookie. Cheers. Mm. I'm sorry, you're quite okay, ain't I? What would you rate these as? Delicious. 4.2. 4.2, she's doing better than I was in America. However, I feel like I'm gonna throw in something that's more Swedish because both of these I feel like you can find in America. Good and mixed, original flavor. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> good good and mixed, yeah. They're like, this is the name we're going with. Oh, we have no. a mix of oh, no. everything. So we're gonna start with a yellow is, one. Is this licorice? Might be licorice, but we'll take that later. Fruit snacks. No. Nay. Nay. This is rude. <laughs> he knows I don't like licorice. The Swedes freaking love it. Do you like licorice? I don't like licorice at all. So how do, okay. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even make it into the mouth. I literally can't. No. Uh, no, no, I will not. <laughs> so the good and mix is not very good. What is that taste? Well, Give me a red one. Okay, the red one. Oh, this is a Swedish fish. Yeah, basically a Swedish fish, yeah. Oh, I like this one. What's this one? I don't know. Another Swedish fish. <laughs> Some kind of thing. Rating for good and mixed. No. What would you say? A no. A no. A no. <laughs> a no. A no is that. Okay, if I'm rating the Swedish fish, like the red one. No, 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 no. This is the concept. You have to rate the concept. Uh, about a one. I would never buy this and be like, mm. oh, one. And the majority of them are licorice, which is not okay. Boo, nope. Sweden. Nope, 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 nope. Next. Ooh, these so, are fun. 
We have these, I don't know what you would call that. So we got a caramel and we got strawberry. Ooh, I like caramel. You gotta try both. <laughs> but I used to buy these as a kid after school. I used to love Seriously? these. Seriously? Yeah. Is this what you would go pick up at the store? Is this vegan? Yes. You insist jealous in the feet on them. Why can't I put my freaking teeth into anything? I like caramel, but this is not. It's not a vibe? Oh, what is in the middle? No, that is like overly sweet. Nothing should be this sweet. Now try the strawberry one. Ew. I have a feeling this one's gonna be even worse. Better? Worse? It tastes so fake. Like, I've never tasted anything so fake in my life. The American it's says. Just so fake. I find this, I find this hilarious. You guys have this stuff too? We sure do. The rating for the caramel and strawberry. Stick. Yeah, we would say stone. Is that stick? A pole. Stone? Like pole, stone. not a pole. pole! Yeah, it's like a pole. Okay, I need water. I would give the pole a... <laughs> point five. Point five. Like a point three, actually. You know, it's worse than this, apparently. Point three. Okay, we gotta do something nice. When I was a child and I used to go to dance class, this is what I used to get afterwards. It's a chocolate ball. We have it with coconut and with the pearl sugar. We love chocolate balls. The classic, this one, Delicato Ball, is uh, it's a Swedish institution, I would say. What do you mean? It's just like, it's an undescribably good ball. How is it even possible? Undescribably good, yeah, is that, that what it that, says? That's what it says all. Oh my God. We make chocolate balls by ourselves, generally, because they uh, are more healthy. Can you pull that look, up? They look much better than this. Yeah, because this one has like, Fake. It tastes a lot like coffee. Mm. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? In America, we have like the little cakes that you would get at like a gas station. They're so bad for you, but they like, taste so good. Absolutely no idea, but sure. She takes a second bite, people. Mm. That means it's good. It's really good. So I used to buy this in a Coke. So healthy. So healthy. The consistency is a lot worse than like the ones we make. This is softer. It's been sitting in a package. Yeah, which it has, probably for- It's more like cakey. Yes, it's more cakey. Pearl sugar looks pathetic. I mean, it's delicious, but it's not like, you can tell it's so bad. <laughs> the chocolate ball with pearl sugar and coconut. The delicato ball. Delicato ball. Out of five, where would you hit? Mm, 4.3 4. for the pearl sugar one and 4.1 for the coconut because I like the chocolate chip cookie better than the coconut. Fair enough. So the pearl sugar one takes the lead, right? Uh -huh. That's impressive. It takes the lead. Cheese doodles. Classic Swedish snack. Classic Swedish cheese doodle. <laughs> but now in vegan format. I love that he tries it before I do. So good. Yeah. I can eat this entire bag. Mm. Not much to say. Not much to say. They're really good. I wish you could taste them. Here you go. <laughs> so our rating, zero mm. to five. Where would you rate the vegan cheese doodles? That are not that different from actually the ordinary cheese doodles, I must say. I've had both. 4.5. 4.5, they take the lead. I'm shocked that I put something like savory in front of something sweet, because normally I'm a sweet girl. <laughs> From the highest of highs to probably the lowest of lows, let's go. I'm literally still eating cheese doodles. This is not a vibe. Why did that. you buy those? Because this is something. That people actually eat? That people actually eat. This is something that Swedes love. I've never had a inclination towards eating it, but this is something you just have to experience when we're trying sweeter snacks. What is covered? Is it covered in sugar? I don't know. Like literally white sugar. Just try it. Roll it out! God. You have to put it in your mouth. Oh. Come <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst tasting thing I've ever had in my life. People eat this by choice. It's covered in salt. Yeah. You knew that? Uh, yeah. I thought it was sugar. 
<laughs> you said I was nicer to you. I didn't give you anything that was covered in literal salt. This is a Swedish classic. I need to take a second. Have a sip of water. I literally can't swallow. Like I'm just letting it like sit in my mouth because <gasps> brings out the cookie. That was the meanest thing you've ever done to me. <laughs> That's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, the worst thing you can possibly do to your partner should be is tricking her into Give them a salt covered snack? <laughs> disgusting candy. By the way, I give that a negative 1500. <laughs> negative 1500. Moving on. Tutti fruity. Okay, these are the hi, we're also vegan guys. Super cute. It's just funny because you know in America it would be like yellow dye number five, yellow dye number 10. It doesn't have that? No. It has some sort of artificial flavoring. Yeah, they want to claim that it's like by vegetables and stuff. Okay. Coloring foods, concentrated with black carrots, safflower, sweet potatoes, spirulina, and apple. Really? Yeah, that's what they claim. We don't have yellow dye number 10 in okay. Europe. Okay, so these are a bit more natural. <laughs> I tried the raspberry one, it was okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're vibing. Mm. We're vibing better. We don't want another one of mm. these ones. I'm so sorry, honey. I think that we need to rewind a little bit and you need to have one. You've tried everything else with me. <laughs> I'm not gonna try this. These are disgusting. Come on. It's only fair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so bad. It's just pure salt. It's like so bad. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay. You made me do it with a straight face. You were like, yeah, it's sugar. So we've had the pear. The pear was okay. Lemon. Hmm. These remind me of the Scandinavian swimmers from Trader Joe's. One to five. What would you give the tutti frutti? A two. A two. Okay. I used to be obsessed with this. When I did Sound of Music in Malmö, I used to have one of these every single intermission. But this is the vegan version that came out last year. It looks like a Kit Kat to me. Yeah? So it's like a typical candy bar, which a lot of the times you can't find vegan in America. Not necessarily good for you, but... Nothing is good for you that we're showing today. It's fun. I just eat a whole like this? You're supposed to be able to break it off. Generally, you're supposed to break it off, but break this, is, what off? <laughs> this is just like, it's usually sectioned. Mm. I feel like this is quite similar to, it's quite similar to these. Yeah. I like that better. No, yeah, me too. Is this the same as the non-vegan one? No. no. That was good. Because the non-vegan one has like milk chocolate and it's very like thin. It's like very light, fluffy. This is quite heavy because it's dark chocolate. Okay. Uh, three. Three? Yeah. Solid still. Fan favorite. Finishing off. Singola. Also. Fan favorite. Also. Yeah, it's a fan favorite in the city we're in. Vigonsk. 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 I feel sick. So do I actually. It's a it's a nice start to your morning. Sorry, we just a bunch of sugar and artificial <laughs> this stuff. Is not normally how we start our day. <clears throat> the last one though. Salute. Clink. <clears throat> you cannot be like serious. It's delicious. No. It's too sweet and fake. Like your whole world just shattered beneath you. <laughs> your woman doesn't like the singuala. I feel a bit offended, but it's okay. Yeah, two. A two. <laughs> okay. So the worst one was the thing that should just be immediately thrown away. These are the worst thing I think I've ever tasted in my life. I mean, Swedish and I freaking hate them. Yeah. The clear winner. My dad would love these and yes. Callie loves them. Thank you guys for watching another video of ours. We truly appreciate every single one of you who take the time to watch our videos every single week. It's so cool that we get to share our journey as a Swede and American and how we navigate through life, but also see the ins and outs of uh, living and exploring another one's culture. And country. And country. 
So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We would be so happy if you would hit that subscribe button. <laughs> please turn on those notifications and give this video a thumbs up. That's it. We'll see you next week for Take another care. video. Yes. In an exciting place. Who knows? Maybe we even leave the country. Cliffhanger. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Tag along. Tag along. Bye. Are you living your best life right now? The, the taste test is over. <laughs> like, you don't have to eat anymore. Guys! Bye! Wait. Wait, no. Bye! Oh, wait. Right, here's the boat. <laughs> Do you need... <laughs> Be gone! <laughs> Be gone! At all. I say... Is it covered in sugar? He says, I don't know. I feel betrayed.